Arkansas versus Ohio State in the Sugar Bowl. Marco, who do you like and why? I'm going to go with Arkansas. This is a tough call, but I think they win this game. I love Jim Trestle as a coach, but they did struggle this year against teams with a balanced offense and a good quarterback. And those two games were Wisconsin and Iowa. Uh, they lost to Wisconsin, and they could have lost to Iowa. Arkansas comes in here with a great running and passing attack. Ryan Mallett will be the best quarterback that our Ohio State has faced all year. I think the overriding handicapping factor in this game is the Ohio State's team turmoil with these suspensions. Um, a lot of talk, and actually amongst the you know, Twitter sphere with the real in the know people late la or last week, is the rumor was Tressel was going to step down after this game. And uh, National Football Post had that up, and uh, we've actually been doing some podcasts with them, but they, they've got some real inside information. And then later it was, no, that's not true. Um, but the very fact that rumor made the rounds, I think, speaks that this is an emo you know, this is not just a shrug of the shoulders. Is a high state and Trestle prides himself on running a clean program. Um, you know, it, it, there's a perception now that there's been some favoritism with the way that they're going to be, these players are going to be allowed to play in this game. You know, they're distracted. They're thinking about these are some key players, quarterback prior, clearly key. Right. Is, am I going to go to the NFL? I mean, how, how into this game could they be? I mean, this seems to be the recipe of, a, of distraction. So my question is, if I say make the case that Ohio State is going to really play motivated here, how do you make that case? Well, if there is one coach that's, you know, that can do that, I think Jim Trestle... He's not a magician, though. He, but he... If would, he could do that, he, these kids wouldn't have done what they'd done. I hear what you're saying, but listen to me for a second. To me, when I look at him and his little sweater vest and everything, I look at, like, my dad. And I think that maybe the Ohio State... A lot State of people play, hate their dads. A lot of people do, but a lot of people, you know, do, you know, like their dads, okay? And when they disappoint them, they really feel bad about it and really want to work That's why hard. they're looking to jump to the NFL. Well... This is where you separate the men from the boys. This is where you find the and, character. And, you were, and the character is, it seems to be shown that they're getting suspended for five games. So we're relying on the character of the guys that were suspended for five games. It's a gray area. It is, for sure. I mean, we don't know how they're going to react. But this line hasn't moved. It hasn't because what has changed on the field? The players that were going to be there are there. There's no penalty well, that, to that. That may be, we should splice that out. That may be the most nonsensical thing you ever said. If if motivation doesn't affect the field, then all the we should erase all the videos that we did today because <laughs> we've been talking motivation all day. This isn't a computer generated result. These are kids. These are 21 year olds and and younger, and. What's changed on the field is the focus on this game has been taken away for, on the player side, on, on the coaching side in many ways. I mean, right or right, wrong. Right, but they're, they're not being penalized. They're being penalized well, they're next year. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is it's fundamental. When we talk about, oh, we don't know if Alabama is going to be motivated or if we don't know if Team X is going to be motivated, there's no penalties involved. Nebraska doesn't have any penalties involved. And we went on for 10 minutes that they're not going to be motivated. So what I'm saying is they have a black mark against them, which, if anything, I think it's the worst of both worlds for High State. On one hand, the five-game penalty next year seems severe, but on the other hand, just on ESPN.com today, there's a thing that says NCAA says it's not being preferential to Auburn in a high state. Preferential, I think it was, ne it was a, a severe penalty, but the fact they're playing this game makes it seem like they're getting special treatment. So not only are they, there's a big question mark for next year, but additionally, this year, there's a bunch of distractions. I, you can't tell me this is zero effect. Uh, I, I can't. But the line you, hasn't moved. The line hasn't moved because you know what? We're sitting here trying to figure out how it's going to affect. So is the betting public. They're scratching their head but too. But here's the thing. The line not moving would only make sense if there was a 100% chance that there'd be a zero effect. If there's a 50% chance there'd be some effect, then the line should move to account for that effect. Or possibility. It's like snow. If there's a 50% chance that there's going to be a foot of snow, 
and a 50% chance there will be no snow. How is the total affected? It's lower, right? right. And if there's snow, <laughs> you're probably getting, it's going to be that in between, the same things we talked about injuries. If the line would have been 30 with the snow, 37 without the snow, if there's a 50% chance, they'd probably make it 33 and a half and split the difference. Well, my question is, whatever the percentage chance that this is going to be a major distraction, where is it accounting, how is it being accounted for? It's not because... Which means value Arkansas. Well, you can go that way, yeah. All right, what else do you think is key in this game? Well, again, I think that the, my basis of the game is the, is the offense of Arkansas. I think Ryan Mallett is a, an NFL caliber quarterback, and Ohio State just hasn't faced that this year. It's the difference in the game to me. You may be right. Now, Vegas has a high state as the fourth best team in the country. I think they're highly overrated. I, and, I that, do, yeah. and that's, again, again, you're having a different – there's two ways to, to have value in a handicap. One is you and Vegas agree and the public disagrees. Or two is you and Vegas disagree, which is a valid approach. So you're telling me you're in, you're lean towards Arkansas here is driven by you don't rate a high state as highly as Vegas does. You, Other, you tell me you're you know the grad from Ohio State, so you follow them you know all through the year. What's their signature win? Yeah, this you know, year. I mean, clearly it, it was Iowa. I mean, going on the road. It, but here's the thing: a high state. There's been a misperception about them in the bowls. They lost big to LSU, and they lost big to Florida. Do you know they haven't lost another bowl game at ATS in the last eight years? They're 6-2 and two ATS in bowl games. So the two games that people remember, they lost. They're 48 and 68, 48 of 68, 48 of 20 ATS. So that's uh, six years worth they're hitting, I mean, 48 and 20 is like over 70%. So this is a team in general that overperforms. I, I agree with you, and you make a great point about the fundamentals of the passing, uh, the, the team that has a, has a balanced attack they're going to have trouble with. Arkansas, hey, they're from a great conference. They're 16-5 and five ATS against teams with a winning record. So they've actually played best against the best teams. And in their conference, teams with a winning record are good teams. So, you know, I agree with you, but to me, the value is driven by the lack of, in fact, the line has gone up since the open from three to three and a half. We're now over a key number. Uh, I think the lack of adjustment by the public for this turmoil is where the real value is. Uh, I got Arkansas 33-30, and the only reason I have it that close is I do have a lot of respect for Tressel as a coach and being able if there's anybody that can hold this together, it's him. But I still like Arkansas. Will you wear it next week? Will you wear a sweater vest if they win? Uh, I don't know if I'll go sweater vest, but I do have Ohio State hoodie I, I could put on. <laughs> All right, now guys, we're doing this on Tuesday this week. We have a special. It's the hundred dollar pick the score contest. Go to the YouTube comment section and guess the score in this game. It's free. Guess the score. High State, this many points, Arkansas, this many. If you get the score exactly right, you win 100 pregame dollars to spend any way you want. And again, there's no risk, no obligation. So guess away. And we'll be back next week with more videos, including the first round of the NFL playoffs and the BCS championship game.